Hi, this is Tamara from MooglyBlog.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a very tiny version of the Blackberry Salad Striped Blanket, which you'll find on my blog. A few people have asked about how to start this. There are charts on the blog, and there are videos for the individual stitches, but in this one I just want to show you basically how the blanket comes together in a teeny tiny version. Now this blanket, whether you're making the baby blanket or the afghan, it's a multiple of four stitches plus three to start. So here I've got 15. 12 is a multiple of four plus three more for the starting chain. So 15 chains. Now to make the first stitch, the first row is double crochets. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to make my first double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four. Now the reason I come down so far like this is because those last three chains, the three chains closest to the hook that we just skipped, those will count as our first double crochet. So continuing down the first row, I'm going to continue to make a double crochet in each chain. Okay, so we've reached the last chain. So I work my last double crochet, and we've got row one done. Pretty easy, right? Now, to go to the next row, we're going to start by chaining one to work a row of single crochets. Turn our work over, work that first single crochet right in the top of that first stitch there, and we're going to work three more. When you're working this stitch, the bobbles, in order to be offset for the single crochet rows, some start with three, some start with two. Here we're going to do the one that or excuse me, some start with four and some start with two. Here we're doing the one that starts with four. So we've worked four single crochets, so now we're going to make the bobble stitch. The bobble stitch, as I showed you in the bobble stitch video, is basically just starting five double crochets without pulling through the last two loops of any of them. So after you've started five here, you're going to have six loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all six, and folding the bobble away from you, make a nice tight single crochet right in the next stitch. Now for the blackberry salad striped blankets, there's three single crochets in between each bobble. So we'll work our three there. Got one, two, three. We'll work one more bobble here in the next stitch. And if, like I said, if you want a better view of how to make a bobble stitch, you can watch the bobble stitch video from Moogly. It's got some great close-ups. Here we've got our six stitches. Yarn over, pull through, make a nice tight single crochet right in the next one. Now because we've gotten so tiny, here we've gotten to the end of our row. If you were making a blanket, of course, this would be much wider, but you just continue working three single crochets in between each bobble. So since it's the end of the row and we started with four single crochets, we know we're going to end with four single crochets. So that's one, two, three, and because that chain three that we skipped at the beginning counts as a stitch, we work our last single crochet right into the top of that chain. It isn't always easy, as you can see. Everybody struggles with it. We've just got to put our hook in there, there we go, and make that last single crochet. Now, the next row is a row of double crochets again. So we're going to chain three to work our way up. Get a little more yarn free here. Okay, we've got our chain three. Turn the work over. And rather than working to that first one, we're going, because that chain three counts as a double crochet, we'll make our first actual double crochet in the second stitch of this row. And then I'm going to make sure I double crochet in the top of each one of our single crochets and also into the top of each bobble stitch. Just in that one last yarn over and pull through, that's what we're double crocheting into the top of. So, I'll work my double crochets here across the row. I know I'm going a little quickly, but odds are if you're making this blanket you know how to make a double crochet. So I come to the end, and because the previous row was single crochets, 
I'm not going to work into the turning chain of one there. We never work into a single crochet turning chain. We just work our last stitch right in the top of the first single crochet we made. So there we've got our second row and you can see our two bobbles here are popping out nicely in the front. So it's time to work another bobble row, which we work from the wrong side. Bobble rows are single crochet rows. So we chain one, turn the work over. And for this one, in order to offset them, we're just going to start with two single crochets. So there's our two, we need a little more yarn. And we're going to work our first bobble here after our first two single crochets. So we work a bobble stitch right into the next stitch here. Which is, of course, five half double crochet, half worked, I should say double crochets here. So we've got six loops on the hook here and over, pull through, push it out so it pops nicely, work that next single crochet. We're going to work three of those because there's always three single crochets between our bobbles for this pattern. There's three, one, two, three, work our next bobble right here. Push it out, work a nice tight single crochet next, and then two more to get those three there, and then one more bobble for this row. Now if you're making a baby blanket sized, I believe you've got 26, 27, something like that, a lot of bobbles on each row. Again, this is just a teeny tiny version, might be good for a face cloth or something like that. Probably wouldn't want to scrub a baby with it, it might be a little harsh. Alright, let's make that last bobble of the row, push it out. Come down for the single crochet, and since the previous row was double crochets and that chain three counts, we're going to work our last single crochet right into the top of that turning chain. Push it on through, and there we go. And there you have it. Here's our teeny tiny version of a blackberry salad striped blanket. And those are the first four rows. After that, it's basically just a four row repeat. We'd start again with another row, another row of double crochets, another row of bobbles and set by four, another row of double crochets, and another row of bobbles and set by two. And that's all there is to the Blackberry Solid Stitch Blanket. Thanks for watching.